Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and I was always told I had a voice radio, so today I am showing you a pair of new GXs from the upcoming Pokemon Sun and Moon trading card game set. They both evolve from Eevee, it is Umbreon GX and Espeon GX. They come as a pair, it's only fitting they are released as a pair. Now I should mention here the Eevee, which is actually very, very playable indeed. It's basically a reprint, at least in all the ways that matter, of the Furious Fists Eevee, in that it has energy evolution, that ability that means that when you attach a basic energy from your hand to Eevee, you get to search for a Pokemon of that type, same as the basic energy, and evolve it. I.e., if you pop a dark energy from your hand onto Eevee, you could evolve straight into Umbreon GX. If you put a psychic energy, energy from your hand onto Eevee, you can evolve into Espeon GX. Now, this is obviously awesome. It obviously makes the cards more playable, makes them faster. Now, I am currently deep in the mire at the International Championships, so I don't have time to edit the whole video, but I needed to add this in at the beginning. The first attacks from Umbreon and Espeon, I'm going to say, are a little bit too slow. They are now slightly better than I'm going to mention in a moment, but they're still not particularly great. These make the cards ever so slightly faster and more playable but what I'm going to say about these cards is basically still pretty much true they've just got an awesome Eevee to help them out now we'll start off with Espeon GX who I would say is okay I'm not loving Espeon GX but let's have a look 200 HP is pretty good. Although, to be honest, it you know, the Stage 1 GXs tend to have 200 or 210. So it, it, it's still good, but it's fairly standard. Now, Retreat Cost of 1 is pretty nice. Weakness to Psychic is a bit of a weird one, because of course we have Mew from Fates Collide, that you can use to copy your own basic Pokemon attacks. And then we've got Mew EX that's been re-released, that can copy attacks as well. So actually, you can use either Mew... EX or Mew from Fates Collide to copy another one of your Pokemon's attacks to actually hit for weakness, giving Espeon an effective HP of 100. To put it another way, Psychic Pokemon are very easily teched against nowadays using those two Mew cards. Now the first attack, one Psychic Energy, 30 damage and confusion would be good on a basic Pokemon. This is a first turn of the game, I'll do a little bit of damage and slow my opponent's down attack. This is not an I've evolved up to a stage one, I've now got a two prize Pokemon, because remember GXs give up two prizes. I've now got a two prize Pokemon in the active, it's at least my second turn of the game. This is not good enough. Now the GX attack, this is the once per game you can use any GX attack but one GX attack per game. This is okay. Psychic Double Colorless is expensive, there's no way around it, but you get to place 10 damage counters as you like. Now, considering things like Crobat were very heavily played when they could drop 3 damage counters, dropping 10 is clearly good. Now, some of the GX attacks are big one-hit KOs. Most of the rest, like this one, tend to be situational attacks. In some situations, they will be absolutely amazing and game-breaking, and in other situations, they will be decidedly meh. Here, your opponent might have a bunch of almost KO'd Pokemon, so you drop damage counters down and take several prizes in one go. Or, they might have a bench full of 200 HP undamaged Pokemon, in which case it's halfway towards a knockout and it's very very bad now if your opponent's got two ratatars on the bench you can take two ko's and drop two damage counters somewhere else and this is pretty good but it's a bit overpriced what i will say about sp on gx and i've said this about a bunch of the gx attacks there will be situations in some games where this is literally the best thing you could possibly do but there will be plenty of situations where it isn't now, the attack I like a little bit more is Psychic. One Psychic, one double colorless, 60 damage plus 30 more for each energy card attached to your opponent's active. So let's take something like an Aveltali X, for instance. They've got free energy on them. So you're now doing 150. Add a Giovanni Scheme, you're doing 170 for a KO. So it does add up here. But here's my thing. It, is it good enough? 
Now, don't get me wrong, there'll be times it is, but this is another card that puts the game in your opponent's court, and that is not great. Now, the other problem we've got here is, of course, we've got Oranguru. Now, he is a Pokemon that I like greatly. I did a video about him just earlier today, and I told you he was my favorite card in the set, and he earned it. He does 60 plus 20 for each energy attached to your opponent's active, and he's a basic, and it's free colorless, so you can use double colorless max elixir, i.e. it's easier to get the energy, and you don't have to evolve him, and he's got an awesome ability. So my favorite attack on Espeon GX is, to be honest, a weaker version, or a slightly stronger but more awkward version of a better Pokemon's attack. I'm not a huge fan. Similarly, I would rather use something like a Veltal EX, because at least with a Veltal EX, you've got Y-Cyclone as another alternate attack. Not a... Although, obviously, Evil Ball is inherently weaker. There is a lot of potential in Espeon GX. The Psychic Attack can be good. I am not saying it's a bad card. It is not a bad card by any stretch of the imagination. It is an underwhelming card, and I think there are better alternatives. So, I think a fair score for this one would be, get ready for it, ladies and gentlemen, free Wossies. There we go. Now, Umbreon I like a little bit more. Again, he's got 200 HP, which is good, but fairly standard. Now, I'm not a fan of the weakness here. Firstly, Dark, as we talked about with Raticate, doesn't really hit much for... You know, it, it, it's, it's not hitting much for weakness here. And I'm not loving the fighting weakness. There are cards like Zygarde around, which just seem like they could be used really well, especially in a slower build-up damage format, which is where it looks like we might be headed. And that makes Umbreon, to me, a little bit awkward in terms of its weakness. Now, and again, like Espeon, the first attack is... It would be really good on a basic on the first turn of the game. One dark energy, 30 damage, and you get to switch. Do you really want to be doing this on your second turn of the game after you've evolved a Pokemon and you've got a two prize Pokemon out? The one saving grace here is it does work as a switch, so if you're really stuck and you can't get Umbreon out the active, he has a retreat cost of two, which is not insignificant. You can use this as a switch. It is at least vaguely useful under some circumstances. Now, the GX attack, I again, and there's a lot of similarities, which is why they're in the same video here. The GX attack, I feel very similar to Espeon's. In some situations, it will be amazing. Two energy, discard two energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon in play. You get to discard two of their energy from any of their Pokemon. Now, this could be really good or really bad. If they're clearly struggling for energy, then this could be awesome. If you can combine this with, say, a couple of Crushing Hammers, which is seeing a reprint in this set, and an Enhanced Hammer to, say, get rid of all five of their energy on one turn, this is really good. But if they can get their energy out again the next turn, you've used your only GX attack of the entire game to force them to attach more energy and that is not really what we want to be using our only gx attack of the entire game to do but like i've said there will be some turns where you can get rid of two energy and it will win you the game let's say you're against something like i don't know let okay let's say raiku and they are there and they need free energy to attack and you know they've used all four Max Elixir, they're in the discard pile. So you play a Crushing Hammer, hit a heads, then you use a GX attack, and your opponent is sitting there with no energy on the field, no Max Elixir, and they are not going to be able to attach enough energy to win the game. That will work. But the attack I really like, and this is the best attack on either of these Pokemon, and the reason why I think Umbreon is better than Espeon, Shadow Bullet. Or should I say Night Spear? 90 damage, 30 to the bench. This was awesome when it was on Darkrai EX, and it's still good now. You are doing decent damage to the active while spreading damage around to the bench. If we're going to be evolving more often, ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be some 60 HP Pokemon sitting around on the bench. This is going to make a difference. We've got high HP evolving GXs here. We are probably going away from one-hit KOs, and that means... 
that spreading damage and poking little damage here and there is going to be better. Now, it's actually better than Night Spear, because Night Spear was two dark and a colorless. This is one dark, two colorless, which means you can use double colorless to get this rolling a little bit faster. I can see games where you stick an Umbreon GX in the active and you sit there and go, right, 90-30, 90-30, 90-30, 90-30, and you just sit there picking away and spreading damage around, and that is why I like Umbreon. Now, if you're already sitting in the active doing good attack, and then you're sitting there going, oh, my opponent's one energy away from winning the game... Then you bring out your GX attack, Nightcry GX, and then you go, right, well, you're about to win the game. Ah, now you haven't got enough energy. I'm not saying this is a perfect thing that will work every game, but I like Night Spear. I mean Shadow Bullet. So, Umbreon GX, he's getting... I'm going to give him four Wossies here. And that's a little bit generous, I understand. Four Wossies for Umbreon GX. It's a little bit much. However, I really like Shadow Bullet. I really like spreading damage around. Now, if we go into a big one-hit KO kind of format, then I might have to drop Umbreon GX down to three Wossies. But you know what? I really like the spreading damage around. It was good enough for Darkrai. And I know we're a couple years on now, but that attack still looks mighty good to me. Now, you know the deal, ladies and gentlemen. There is a comment section. Tell me what you think about these two Pokemon. Make sure you click that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already and you can follow me on Twitter as always at the Wossy. If you like me doing the videos when there's enough stuff out there to make the videos then you know what go for it ladies and gentlemen let me know. Click me other videos make sure you've watched them it will make me happy. The most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.